On the question of private sector investment in CBA and adaptation more broadly, I think we actually have to recognize that there are two different questions we're asking. So there's one question, which is the dominant question, I think, in the climate negotiations, which is, can we mobilize large amounts of private investment um, into adaptation activities? Uh, so basically large amounts of foreign capital into adaptation. Um, and I'm very skeptical that we can. Uh, I think adaptation activities, if you're targeting the most vulnerable and the poorest communities, some of them might have returns on investment, but they're going to be very small. It's going to be really hard to have returns at scale, at a scale that are going to interest foreign investors. Uh, and even if you do get returns that are large enough, um, adaptation is such a locally contextual activity. Uh, that if you find a way to, to scale up in a way that's friendly to private investors, um, you might lose some of that context. And so you might end up with maladaptation, activities that aren't appropriate uh, in some places and so on. Now there's a second question that I think is much more interesting, which is how do you engage private sector actors at the local level and domestically? Uh, and this question I think is absolutely key. Uh, I think for any sustainable adaptation strategy, for any sustainable development strategy, um, you have to engage private sector actors. Uh, you know, smallholder farmers themselves are, are private sector actors. How do you engage them in an economically sustainable way? Um, you know, how do you build uh, domestic capacity in various uh, industries and, and service provision and so on as part of a sustainable development strategy? That's the question I think we need to be asking. Um, I've been quite happy to see that that's the question that a lot of people are asking here uh, at the CBA conference instead of the, the first question. Um, but I think that's also the question that we need to ask uh, in the broader climate negotiations in places like the Green Climate Fund. How is the Green Climate Fund going to reach local, small, and medium-sized enterprises? Um, I think those, those are the right questions. Um, I personally don't have the answers. Um, but I'd really like to see us uh, focus on that aspect of the private sector rather than trying to mobilize huge amounts of foreign investments, which I just don't think is, is feasible.